Hey everybody, it's your girl Aqua Teal, and I just wanted to show you guys these are the decks I'm using. I have a couple more decks, and I really haven't gotten into that chakra meditation deck yet, but these will be the cards I'll be using most of the time, and I'll be introducing a couple more in the future. Uh, but the video I'm about to show you guys now, these are the cards I'll be using. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's your girl Aqua 2 and I'm here with a spill for all Zodiac signs. I want to say thank you for tuning in. And I watched my other video back and it was just like so much going on. I was all over the place. It wasn't right. I missed a lot of the message. I could have went in so much deeper and I feel like I was just overwhelmed trying to just put the videos out. So I wanted to, this is April 1st. So I wanted to change it up and feel new and see what's going on. So let me say a prayer and light my candles and then we'll get into it. I hope everything is clear. I know it's been kind of hard seeing and it's a lot. It's day I'm trying to p record a little earlier. Just took a little nap. Working on myself every day. I hope you guys are too. Let's call all the people and... Uniting, uniting. <phone rings> calling all the nation. Unite, unite. <laughs> calling all the people. <phone rings> Lovely at the door, ready to <phone rings> come in, hopefully. <phone rings> she don't get to barking and hollering. And I want to light up these candles real quick because... Peace, love, and happiness, love, and light, and clarity. Please help me be able to bring a new message out for the people, the collective, people tuning in, people all over. Thank you if you are subscribing. Thank you if you are watching and liking and commenting. I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, light, peace, chakra balancing, healing. Clarity. So if you watched the video I put up last night, um, I was shuffling and I had did a premeditated, like I had a lot, you know, when I was praying and doing that before I came on, but I did take a nap in between because I couldn't do it at that time. It was a lot going on, but this card came back up and I had re reread it or whatever. Relax. Relax the hold of darkness. So basically, they want you to get out of darkness. Stop trying to be in darkness and be at cause. So live in your purpose. Live in your moment so that you can be the light. And this is a tree trunk. So, you know, I just wanted to show that before, you know, I moved on. But I was reading it wrong. And it was like, relax the hold of darkness. So relax of being in the dark being in toxicity, letting the darkness overhold you or whatever, you know. And then, and look, it just popped out again and I'm shuffling these cards. So I guess they want you to keep this. So relax the hold of darkness. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. So this is telling me that we need to be at our purpose. And look, I just shuffled up in that booty bag. So we still fighting for, uh, what is it called? Stability and firm foundation. And 626 is um, eight. So we trying to be halfway there. And then we have suffering and silence. It's kind of cramped over here, y'all. All this stuff, this little table. I need a bigger table. But I was shuffling, and these cards just hit, even though this is not how I want to do it. I want to be able to just pull one card and go from there, but they obviously want us to hear a lot. This is the Scared Rebel Oracle. So we have 33, Heaven Sent. Obviously, that's a Heaven Sent number. The gods are speaking to you. 34, in the world, not of the world. So we are in the world, but we are not of the world. 
So like I was saying, that concrete jungle, we have to remove ourselves from that concrete jungle and live more into nature and learn more of body and self and the natural things of life. Because obviously we are magical. If your body can heal itself or grow and all that stuff, you are naturally powerful. And that's the seven. So once you be the God within you and step out of the concrete jungle into the nature and learn more about yourself, you will receive. This is receiving 27 and that's nine. That's completion. Once you receive the food and the fruit of knowledge from your ancestors and you're listening and you're able to move that into your everyday living and able to move off of the gist of them and not fighting them and being able when they say do some jump jacks you do that jump jack drink some water you drink some water don't eat you don't eat instead of indulging and then sleeping it off when you sleep that's like dying your body dies every time you eat don't you get tired and go to sleep every time you eat you're, you're killing your body taking all the energy from you you can't even move you can't even think and then we have beyond the mind and the heartbeats like I said 21 is 3 you can't create if you're dead. You can't be on the mind. So, yeah, you'd be like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. That's because the mind is used to thinking, oh, I need to eat. I need to eat. And the heartbeat, like, if you're not feeding yourself the knowledge and the great, you know, the stuff that you need to feed yourself, the heart will not beat. You're killing yourself slowly with the poison from the food. Look, she beat up. She feels, she knows. 22 so you got two angel numbers you know you're killing yourself you know you're beating yourself up you know you're not putting yourself in a healthy suit to be able to be strong for this journey for this fight and then nine what do you feel you feel the universe heaven sent you you feel that you're heaven sent you feel all these things i'm saying you need you know that you need to relax and get out the darkness and be at cause. So do for the cause. If you say, oh, I'm an activist. Well, what are you doing for that cause? What are you doing for that? Oh, I'm on a diet. I want to live, eat. And what are you doing for that? Are you doing anything too? No, you're suffering in silence. You're not living in yourself. And then bottom of the deck was the foundation in reverse. Why are these cars all over the place? Oh, no, I'm just all over the place. So let me go ahead and pull. I'm going to just pull one card of every card because I'll be having these long messages. Even though they're good right now, I just wanted to come on. I'm probably going to put another video up tonight before I go to bed. But let's see. That they said start with yourself. Physical change within yourself. And if you watch my other videos, if you didn't, please go back and watch it. I know they probably, that's lovely barking at somebody. But... Get out the streets, get off the, get off of whatever you're doing, and start with yourself physically. So if you physically overweight, physically lazy, physically dumb, do something about it. You can't plant a seed in a concrete and think it's going to grow. Put yourself in nature. Put yourself in a neutral state so that you can rebuild yourself. And I didn't even want that. And this four keep popping up. And, but we disconnected and bored. We keeping ourselves from our kingdom and our gold and our riches because we want to be in this concrete jungle. You want to be stuck in the dark. You want to sit back and, oh, I can. I can't grow. This is a green card. You can't grow and get your stability because you're thinking about all the negativity that's around you instead of going out there and ruining your kingdom. All this light, them your ancestors at your feet telling you, we got you, we got you, we got you. Just turn around, look at the beauty. But no, you want to keep your head down and be into the dark. Oh, yeah. Then my back get to hurt and I'll be out of breath. Like, they said it's so much that they would like to tell me. Bottom of the deck, so flip it over. Oh, y'all seen when other cars falling all out. We got a lot going on as always. I'm trying to be calm and, you know, just do this reading. But once again, I'm going to do three cards for each card because I feel like they just want me to see. They just be wanting me to say so much, but I'm going to just take one card from that. So for your, new, your prosperity beginnings, we have ten of swords. We have six of wands and two of swords. So this is telling me that... 
Okay, so look, basically, these are all the same wands that you're carrying right now. So you're going around worrying about what everybody around you has to say, and you can't make the decision, or you can't do what you need to do, or put down the burdens you do, because these people gave that to you. They gave you the worry, they gave you the frustration, they gave you the chaos, they gave you everything. This is a man-made world. They gave you your home, they gave you your food, they gave you your knowledge. They're giving you everything but you don't know what to do with everything they're giving you. And I had did a talk with Tilly in my car earlier. I didn't edit it or put it up or anything because I was just rambling. But this is basically what they were saying. Like, they gave us this world. You are not of the world, as the scared oracle deck said. So you don't know. Basically, you don't know how to go about it. This was in reverse. So you not even... I don't know, because up this word make me feel like you're scared, you're not making no moves, you're not doing nothing. You have the tools you need to take the blind flows off. You're not doing anything. So maybe you don't have the tools you need to make those decisions. Maybe you don't know because it's just so much going on. Everything's upside down and there's so much going on. So if you just let go of the world and like that natural, if I should have had kept it out. Like I said, go into nature go into the world and see what else is out there besides fashion and food and they just doing too much so we have the queen of swords in reverse and the hierophant so basically like i said yesterday in the other video you're not loving yourself you're not in your full potential you can't fight that fight you have that sword but you it's for show you don't have none of the tools you need. That's why they said sit down and learn. Go to school. Figure it out. Learn from somebody else if you don't know. Let somebody else show you. Let somebody else teach you. That's why we're here. And then under that is choose wisely. Seven. Grow. And there's another green card. So for you to grow wide and be the God within you, you need to sit down and learn. I'm missing a card because I said three. So... Yeah, it's on its way. These are them decisions that you need to make. They will be on their way regardless if you're ready to catch them or not. And the moon, what's ever going on in the dark that's keeping you dark during the day. Like, so if you can, if you wake up in the morning and you're still so tired and you're so exhausted and it's just like, I can't move. I don't have no reason to get up. I'm just so stuck. That's because you're holding on to everything that's consciously wrong with you when it's nothing physically wrong with you you're holding on on to the past hurt and all the hurts around you that you don't understand why you're hurt about the bottom of the deck the five of swords you're not trying to fight that fight you're not fighting i am aqua Tail and i came to fight i hope you did as well are y'all ready for this fight are y'all ready to grow are y'all ready to physically change we have to be one and many all fell out and your intuition but since they fell out i really don't want to use it these are all black this top card is black all these cards are black so you can't grow and you can't physically change and get the recognition you need because you are not living in yourself you're not ready to move, change you're not ready for the new beginnings you're not being the light you're not letting the universe guide you you have to start with yourself before you could create and unite with others I hope y'all could see that. So and so it was zero and then at the end was one three and there go the two that you missing in that order. So you can't connect with the universe like they say. You can't listen. You're you can't see because you don't want to. You're choosing not to. Let me get one of these. One of these. Well I forgot. Something about wisdom, my bad. Infinite wisdom. Deck. Oh, 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 it popped and then it jumped back in. Divine flow, confidence. Let go of doubt and move forward. I don't know what that say, confidently. So basically, you can't move because you're not. And then this one popped up, Golden Goddess. The golden abundance of the universe is open to you. So once you get the confidence, it looked like another lady flowing through nature, loving self, knowing self, using water and not in this concrete world and growing from spirit. This 22, this 18. 
So once you are able to divinely flow with confidence in this world and you're taking in with your ancestors and you're listening and they're guiding you, you will be able to be the golden goddess. You will have abundance. You will succeed. You will be. They said, open me up, open me up, open sesame. And then that's a lot of red. 21 Phoenix, the fire of transformation. Be willing to rise up again and again. You will be successful. Don't give up. This is just the beginning. I know some people have been on this journey for a long time, but it's mostly been about love or money or, you know, success. It's never been about re redefining self, refining self, re-understanding this world, understanding what's going on around us and not just accepting and hoping somebody loves us and all this bull crap and we don't even love ourselves. So we trying to, what is, I always say, I'm not settling. Softly, softly, swiftly, soft, swift, I don't know, the tender touch. So it's saying you're weeping and you're crying and you're just looking for that tender touch. And that's when we get a lot of stuff mixed up with sexual touches and sexual and men. Like we always want that manly, fem that masculine feel because we feel secure around a man but a man just wants sex and if you've been watching my other videos it's been about bones and sex and letting go and releasing and detoxing and focusing on you so you're crying you're wishing and you're praying for somebody to just love you and in this world we live in people confuse that with lust and sex and feel and touch so 20 that's two and zero Two is balance and zero is new beginnings. So once you get balanced and you start off this new self, you'll be fine. I do. I don't like to tell people that detox, stop, stop having sex, stop eating, stop binging, stop doing all that. Get up, walk, drink water, talk more, do something. Def defend to the end, the worthwhile. Defend to the end, the worthwhile. That's five. Make these difficult life changes. Your ancestors are here with you. They're helping you. All of this fighting and this stuff we got to go to is worth it and is worthwhile. Once you're one with self and you all united and everything's good, it's worth the while. Defend it. Defend your future. Defend, defend, defend. Because what else do we have to do in this world? They said split me one more time. What do you feel? What are you feeling? If you're here watching tarot, you obviously feel something. All right, y'all. I got to go. It's your girl, Aqua Till, and I hope you enjoyed that spill. What are you doing?